I'm David from Trade Nation. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to place an order using the order button. So the platform is up and running. We have our list of popular markets down here. And the market I'm looking at today is the US 500. If we go across here, we can say, uh, see the current selling price, the buying price, the change on the day in points, the change in percentage terms, the low, the high, and here's a trade button. And this is the one I'm interested in, the order button. Now, you can see that the uh, US 500 has fallen a bit today. I'm looking to sell, but I think I can get a slightly higher price to sell. So I'm looking to put an order in uh, to sell at a higher price. So let's click the order button and you can see the ticket comes up here. It says it's an order because you can see the orange line under order. If I click here, that would turn it into a trade button. So an order. Uh, the amount that comes up is uh, self-populated. It's, self it's uh, in this case, in my instance, it's $1 per S&P point. You can alter that amount by clicking on the arrows up or down or entering a value for yourself. Now, I just want to keep it at a minimum. So I'm just looking to leave a limit uh, to sell the US 500 in just $1 per US 500 point. So that's the next thing. Um, I am looking to sell, so I click on the sell button. Now it's going to ask me what level do I want to sell at? Well, the market's fallen a bit. Uh, we're at 2909 at the moment. I'm going to put it in at 2920 and hope that we get back up there and uh, that my limit order is filled. Now, the other thing is at the same time, you can attach a stop and a limit to your opening order. So nothing will happen if your original order doesn't get filled. But if it does get filled, you will automatically have a stop and a limit so to either close and, and cut it if it's uh, losing money or to close and take a profit if it's making you money, which is the limit side of it. So let's click the stop limit button here and you have a number of choices. I do want to put a stop on as I am selling and trying to sell on a limit. The stop is going to be to buy back if the market goes up a certain amount and I'm going to put my stop um, 30 points away from the from where my limit level would get filled. So that's 29.20. I'm going to put in 30. So that work, works out, as you can see here, the price of 29.50. And you can see that the approximate amount, so should that stock get hit, I would lose around $30 if that, if that precise level was hit. Now, I'm also going to leave a limit. Uh, this time, I'm not going to do it points away. I'm going to do it at a specific price. Um, I think that the market might fall as low as 28.50. So I'm going to put that price in there, 28.50. So again, if my limit to sell one at uh, 29.20 gets filled, and if the market subsequently falls to 28.50 without hitting my stop first and without me closing anything, then um, I've got my limit in there to close out the position 28.50, and that would give me a profit of around $70. So let's submit that. You get an instant confirmation. Let's get rid of that. I'll just push myself up here. And if we go into opening orders, we can see everything there. Uh, the amount, one, the direction, minus, so it's a, uh, an order to sell, at a limit price of 29.20. If done, a stop at 29.50. And if again, if done, that's the opening order, uh, a limit to buy back at 28.50, it's good till cancelled. So in other words, unless I cancel this order myself, um, this order will run on until either the uh, until the my opening limit is hit and then the stop and the limit attachment come into play after that. If I want to amend these orders at any time, I just click on the amend button and I can change any aspect of this here. So I can change this, say, to 29.15 for the original sell order. I can change my stop by clicking here and putting my stop further away. And I could click here and put my limit a bit closer. And there you have it. So I submit those and that instantly updates with a confirmation and also down here in my opening orders. Finally, if I just want to cancel, all I have to do, click on remove and confirm. And there we are, the orders have gone. So there you have it. That is how to place an order using the order button. I hope you found that useful. Uh, please don't forget to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe so you never miss another update about what's going on at Trade Nation. But can I just say thank you very much for watching and best of luck with your trading.